Hi, this is Jabba Melvin. In this episode, we can see depreciation, annuity method, solved problem. Now we can see what do you mean by annuity method. Under this method, the amount spent on the purchase of an asset is considered as an investment and such investment is assumed to earn interest at a certain rate. Every year, the asset account is debited with the amount of interest and credited with the amount of depreciation. The interest is calculated on the debit balance of asset account at the beginning of the year. The amount to be written off as depreciation is calculated by using the annuity table. So here for this annuity method we are following annuity table for the calculation of depreciation. Now we can see the problem. Annuity method. A firm purchases a lease for a period of 5 years for rupees 10,000 on 1-1-2007. It decides to write off the lease by annuity method. Presuming the rate of interest at 5% per annum. The annuity table shows that the annual amount necessary to write off rupee 1 at 5% per annum is rupee 0 0.230976. You are required to prepare the lease account for 5 years. So in the given question, a firm purchases a lease for 5 years for rupees 10,000. Here interest at the rate of 5% per annum. Then annuity method is following for depreciation. So based on the annuity table for rupee 1 at 5% is a rupee 0 0.230976 and we have to prepare lease account this is lease account debit side credit side now in this lease account data to bank account 10000 date 11 2007 then we have to calculate the interest on this investment. 10,000 rupees into 5 percentage rate of interest 500. Date important 31 2007. Then what is the next step? We have to calculate depreciation on 31 2007. In this we are following the annuity table. Annuity table for rupee 1 0 0.230976 into 10,000 rupees is equal to 2309.76. This depreciation value is the same in all the years. Next one is tally the account. Debit side highest value. Then immediately we have to write the credit side also. 10,500. Find out the difference in the credit side 8,190.24 by balance carry down. Then we have to brought down this value to the next date 1-1-2008 to balance brought down 8,190.24. 31-12-2008 interest 8,000. 190.24 into 5 percentage that is 409.52 
409.52 then we have to charge the depreciation date 31 12 2008 depreciation same like previous year all the years same amount 10000 into 0.230976 amount 2309.76 then we want to find out the balance debit side highest value 8599.76 immediately we have to write in credit side then find out the difference this is by balance carry down 6290 then we have to brought down this one to the next date 11 2009 6290 then we have to charge interest on this value 314.50 in this we have to calculate the interest based on the balance brought down value 6290 into 5% 314.50 then charging depreciation 31 12 2009 same amount then we have to tally the account and highest value in the debit side so you write here then immediately write in the opposite side then tally the accounts on 31 12 2009 by balance carry down 4294.74 then we have to brought down this value on 11 2010 4294.74 then calculate interest on this value 214.74 we are getting then depreciation on this year 31 12 2010 same value like previous years then tally the accounts debit side highest value immediately we have to write in the opposite side then find out the difference 2199.72 then we have to brought down this value 2199.72 on 112011 then calculate interest on this value on 3112 2011 amount 110.04 then calculate depreciation 3112 2011 2309.76 then tally the account in both sides we are getting similar same value no balance after charging depreciation in the fifth year now we are considering annuity table value for the calculation of depreciation so in the given problem five years we have to calculate depreciation thank you